good evening, everybody. Oh, there goes the popo. Play cool, y'all. Anyway, welcome to another episode of Dumpster Diving. I'm your host, Mike the Scavenger. Let's go find some urban treasure. Y'all check it out. We're at the disco dumpster. <laughs> We got going on up in here. I see a couple of lights. A few lights, actually. Oh yeah. Scrabity scrap scrap. Okay, that's aluminum. Housings too. Look at all that water. They've seen better days. There's some number one in here. Alright. Alright guys. Not bad for our first dumpster. Oh. Yeah. Boy, what we got going on over here, y'all? What's that? Some sort of water treatment? Thingamajiggy? Water softening system. Oh, she's heavy. Those come out. I don't know if we flipped it upside down. Strong. Oh, those are heavy. They're full of water. That's why. Oh. Come on, baby. She don't want to come, y'all. Shoot. Where is 
saws off. She ain't coming out, y'all. Well, I've got most of the water out. Let me back the truck out. All right, let's see what we can do. I tried to get most of the water out. We're gonna have to cut those guys out. But. That ain't going nowhere. Here, let's just go ahead and be nice. Hey, y'all, check it out. That's some big old hose right there, y'all. Big hose. For all you guys that like them big. <laughs> What's going on up in here, y'all? What we got? What we got? What is that? Let's check it out. That's heavy, bro. What that is? Get this decoy. Bang it up too much. <sighs> Some sort of computer components. <sighs> Ooh, look at that. Those brackets. That metal. All right, all right. Looks like it, y'all. Let's get up out of here. Oh. Ooh, we got here, y'all. That's the no-no area. I don't touch that stuff. But let's see what's in this big dumpster here. What? Look at all of that, guys. Oh. TVs are just smashed. Didn't look too bad, but yeah, totally smashed. Let's see here. Make it too much, huh? There's some more stuff down here. What I'm talking about.
lots of TV the TV part. Sorry, Dottie, I'm putting a whooping on you tonight. Yeah, baby. Get, getting my work out. All right. I say we're good. I don't like those. Those have screws and nails. All right, let's get out of here before the cops come. Oh. Alrighty guys, well here we are back at the the dumpster from the other video where uh, we found all that stuff. It had the, it, there's a big sign out here. It says free. Everything free. I really want to I really want to take this three quarter inch board, but I mean I'd be kind of ticked off if someone stole my sign. But it looks like they're starting to put more stuff out to for people to take. So, yeah, I mean, like, look at this. Look at Swedge nipple there. Some sort of scale here. A lot of wood. I might come back. Oh, I don't know. Maybe come back tomorrow. Grab some of this lumber. Put this back here. Yep, and it looks like they added more stuff to this pile too, so let's go check it out. Look at that. Good for shipping stuff. We got here a little spade. The heck is that? Look at that! There's a metal ring. Oh, there's some cords. Let's see. I don't know what that is. It's got, looks like a stainless core. Oh. Yeah, what would y'all, what would, I don't know, we'll check it out, is there? Looks like there's some electrical wire in there too, so. We'll throw that back there. What else we got? Yeah, like I said, I'm definitely coming back to this place. What is this? Are those sorbent pads? It doesn't say. Huh. What the heck is that? They almost look like absorbent pads. I don't know. Y'all let me know. I mean, I come back out here. It doesn't look like too many people have been messing around. And they keep adding stuff. Whoo! I'm going to grab it. The, they're not going to take that at the... Yeah, they won't take that at the yard. They get in trouble. Look at that. Respirator cartridges, brand new. Ooh, Daddy's getting full again. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. And then y'all might have noticed also, what is this? 
There was a couple of drums over there. Pinnacle rubber wall base. Ooh, they got wet and nasty. Uh, I'm not taking those because the yard says that they don't want oily things. Let's see. This is full of something. Ooh. Is that cocaine? We just find a bucket full of cocaine, y'all. It says D E Earth. I don't know. That's a lot of cocaine. Ugh. I wouldn't even grab that because I'd be afraid of getting pulled over with it. I don't even know what it is. Let's see. All right, well, that's it. But we're definitely coming back to this one. Bo show. Ow! Oh, jeez. <laughs> what we got here? I don't know what y'all think. Yeah, there's probably enough metal on there to scrap that. They'll probably take that thing. Uh, pile. Else. This is a bunch of plastic ish. A little something something. Uh, mostly plastic. Probably too much plastic, but. Hello! What's up, furry hairball looking thing? What are these for anyway? I see them all the time. Are they for washing windows? Are they for like cobwebs or what? What's up, stick? You get my little aluminum stick. Yeah, that's a nice piece of aluminum. I think I saw another stick over here. We're gonna go in deep, boys. What y'all been eating? Uh, PDQ? A little bit of chicken? Yeah. Yeah, I'd like me a little bit of chicken. Uh, get off my stick. Oh. Uh. Oh, two. It's in the O3. What we got going on up in here, y'all? What are these? Oh, these are those server cases. Y'all told me these are expensive. Only thing is... They're all missing lids. It's way too much plastic. They won't take that at the scrapyard, but that's aluminum right there. I don't know. What do y'all think? Are they worth coming back to get? I don't have the room for them right now. But they all seem to be missing lids. Oh, I don't know. That one right there seems to have the lid. Y'all let me know. Uh, maybe I can get back over here before the, the trash guy comes. And uh, get them. <laughs> what we got going on up in here, y'all? Got some totes. Justin Shin. Totes, my goats. See a little scrappy scrap. See what else we got. What's that? Whoa! Hello! We got a compressor with some, with some copper. See some stuff back there. We're, we're jumping in, y'all. Oh. What that is, dog? What that is? 
It looks like a little piece of scrap. What we got here, y'all? Another little piece of scrabbity scrap. The, uh... Scrap guy is gonna... Gonna like me. Big old boxes. Nope. On a positive note, it does smell like fresh laundry up in here. I can get down on some of that fresh laundry. I think those are like a little motor or something. What that is, dog? What that is? Look at that. It looks brand new. Uh. Hey, brand new is good, right? Oh, this is one of those. Thinking of jiggers. I don't think that's copper. I think those are aluminum. But we'll see. Uh. Just chilling. In the trash. Like stuff might be in there. That's like uh, part of the ice maker. Oh. Damn. Yeah, a little motor on there. Let's see what we got back here, y'all. Another one of them ice makers. Yeah, that's all plastic. Hose, hose in the dumpster. Some other little board. Grab it, scrap. One board there. Feels empty. I think it might be something. Oh, yep. Ice cream maker. Go to something. A little bit more of that scrap. Yeah, I'll take it. Those guys. What that is? Up oh, another ice maker thing in the jigger. All right. See, I think we got it. Nope. A little bit more. No. No, that's just all plastic. Just a little piece. What's that like? Two thirds of a penny? All right, y'all. I'm not gonna lie guys, I just drove by a car and I think there was some uh, lady of the evening action happening back in one of them dark corners. We should be goofy and go by and then just shine the bright lights on them. But uh, yeah, I think that's a first for me on that one. That or they were doing drugs, I don't know. All right, y'all, so I'm just a couple streets over from my house, and I noticed there's a dishwasher. Hmm. 
I think I can manage to get it on top and then just roll home and then strap it in the morning. But let's see. I don't know why people throw tires in the trash. Trash guy won't take them. All right. These typically aren't too heavy. Yeah, it's not too bad. So we'll just go. Right up on the top there. What y'all think Dottie's maxed out again? Eh. eh a little more room. <laughs> nice. This has been a good evening, guys. All right, well, we'll hit that scrap yard in the morning. All righty, y'all. We got her filled up. We're gonna just go ahead and run on up to the uh, scrap yard and get what out we can. I'm not dumping everything, that's for sure, because there's definitely some non ferrous and such in there, but we'll get out as much as we can, get this weight out, and then uh, get back and regroup and reorganize and figure out our next plan to take over the world. Alrighty scavengers, here's how we did at the iron pile. Came in 1,160 pounds. 
go Dotty. Nice. Digging it, digging it, digging it. Gives us a grand total of 58 bucks. Uh, not too bad. Uh, considering uh, I still have some other stuff I haven't really messed with yet. All those uh, lighting housings and everything. That's aluminum. I'll try to clean it up as much as I can to get as much clean aluminum off of them as possible. Because uh, clean aluminum will get you twice as much as uh, aluminum breakage. That rack back there, I had to end up cutting a... Uh, cutting one of the uh, bars off to get these tanks. I'm going to take these tanks uh, to my pop shop. He's got a uh, uh, dumpster. I'm going to dump those in the dumpster tonight. I don't think there's too much up on here. I might, I might crack into this just to see if there's any brass in there, but it doesn't look like there's a whole lot. And then that rack, I haven't quite figured out what I want to do with it. It is stainless steel though, which is totally cool. I'm thinking maybe the bottom grating part, cut that off and then somehow incorporate it into my back uh, uh, board right there. That way I have a little peep through window. That's what I'm thinking at the moment. And then, you know, use the rest of that stainless and just scrap it out. But I think it'd be cool to be able to see in the back, although it fills up pretty quick and, you know, you don't really can't see that for much for too long. Uh, anyways, got a couple of resellable items here. Not this phone, that's mine. Uh, got this huge cutoff wheel. Once again, I do not have the uh, the saw for that, but I'll probably get a couple bucks in a garage sale. Uh, some filter cartridges. It's not 3M, it says Scott Safety. So um, it's, I don't know if these are interchangeable with the 3M masks, uh, but anyways, you know, couple bucks a little tchotchke stuff right here uh i mean always use a uh, garden spade you know what i mean and then i found this meter i'm not quite sure what type of meter this is the uh the housing material is aluminum for sure super light uh it looks kind of like a gas meter but you know you put like a, a thermometer here pressure gauge here so it's something something special made by the american meter company DTM Delta Tango Mike Dash 200 Alpha 5 PSI. So that's really low pressure. I'm guessing what would be 5 PSI? I don't know. So I don't know if that's got any resale value, but it's definitely got scrap value, that's for sure. Uh, bubble wrap, we all know bubble wrap is uh, you know, it's like toilet paper. We gotta have it, right? And then uh and then we got these couple of scales over here. I haven't even plugged them in yet to try. Let me get my plug see oh and we got a couple of boxes that came in from the post office we'll open these up and see what we got from some fans but uh yeah these are these uh i guess in their scales i mean this one's got like a white powder residue that was also with that bucket with all that white stuff i don't think it's anthrax or fentanyl because i'm still alive today and feeling well so it's probably some sort of who knows but let's plug it in and see if she turns on okay Got it plugged in. Look at that. Fires right up. Zero her out. Let's put a uh, little piece of copper on there. 709.2. What's GN? There's grams. GN. I don't know what GN is. I guess it's a uh, self calibration or whatever. So that one works. Aculab, Vicon, probably expensive. Anything scientific usually is pretty expensive. And then Ohas, let's see, Precision Plus on. It comes right on. This one's a little bit dirtier. Let's see. There's grams. It looks very sensitive. Okay, zero grams. 45.95 grams. Let's see, let's put this one back in. It says 45.95. Let's see how well these guys are. 
So we'll turn her on. I like this one because it lights up. And then we'll put it in. Let's see. Uh, there's grams. 45.92. That's pretty darn close. I'd say these are pretty, pretty precise. So, yeah, those will probably fetch a few bucks, man. Uh, God, I mean, I don't know. I don't know any drug dealers. <laughs> Just kidding. Kids don't do drugs. Drugs are bad. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's, uh, let's open up some packages. We got one here from Neil. Neil in Missouri. Uh, I think he goes by electrical engineering. Uh, he's been a follower for a long time. And uh, uh, I do apologize for not e emailing you back as much as I have in the past. Uh, it's just as the channel's growing, I am getting an influx of emails and messages and, and, and then, you know, just with everything going on, it's just been so, so busy. But I, I appreciate it, Neil. I appreciate it. So anyways, let's see what we got here, Neil. Feels heavy. Let's see what that is. Oh, it's a magnet. Let's see. Yeah, it's a. Oh, Neil, no, you shouldn't have, man. So he get he 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 hooked a magnet up to the end of a paint handle, so I can put it on a stick. Let's see if I've got a stick. Yeah, put it on a stick because my other magnetic stick was sucking it up. But yeah, look at that, look at that. Yeah, we'll be able to pick crap up off the bottom for sure. Neil, thank you so much, I appreciate it, man. I, you are the best. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Let's see what we got here. This is from, it says Tim in Ocala, Florida, O-Y-E-T. Tim, Ocala, Florida. 1435 postage. Man, I appreciate that. I know what them postage rates are these days. And they kill you. But let's see. Let's see what we got here, Tim. It's like Christmas. Woo! Look at that. A little bit of brass. That's pretty, y'all. A little bit more brass. Look at that! All day long, son. What should I do? Should I try to resell these? Should I try to scrap these? These are, they seem too nice to scrap. Ooh, look at that. Got some big old heavy gauge cable. Love stripping some cable with my cable stripper. All right. A brass apple. Wow. More heavy duty gauge cable. Some more brass. I'll keep that by my bed for my wife. More tea, please. <laughs> all right, all right. What we got here? Up oh, a candle holder made in England. All brass. Wow, thanks a lot. Got some cords, power cable. Looks like some more brass here. Wow, these are nice. I would feel bad scrapping these though, because they're so pretty. Let's go there. Let's see what we got here. Oh, and we got a little note. Mike the Scavenger, scrappity scrap scrap. Hi Mike, just letting you know, you got a fan from Ocala, Florida. My whole family enjoys your vlog, sending you some brass and copper. Stay safe. Oh yet, Tim. Oh yet. Well, thank you very much. That is that is beyond beyond nice. 
like the fact that people would go out of their way to send me make sure I got it all yeah would go out of their way to send me some 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 things like you guys are the absolute best love y'all to death Neil thank you so much oh and oh yeah Tim thank you as well well all right guys that's going to do it for this episode of dumpster diving I'm your host Mike the scavenger got me a new magnet stick we'll probably give her a shot tonight uh gotta get on home cook some dinner for the wife get some food in the tummy uh scavenger can't scavenge on an empty belly y'all uh all right y'all take care hopefully i'll have another video up tomorrow Ow! <laughs> what we got here y'all